a judge heard Mr. Bathers. 80. Placed his hand on his grandson's chest before Sumner pushed him, causing the pensioner, who was unsteady on his feet and prone to falls, to stumble backwards. The court heard Mr. Bather's head was left bloodied and swollen, but he was not initially thought to be seriously injured. His concerned daughters called for an ambulance but were told they would be waiting for five hours, Stafford Crown Court heard. His health deteriorated over the following hours. He was then found unconscious in bed by his daughters and he died two days later in hospital. Sumner, 31, left the house following the road, taking his car without permission. He was unhappy money that had been promised in his granddad's will was being split among other members of the family, the court heard. Catherine Williams. Sumner's mother and Mr. Bather's daughter, said her family had been ripped apart and life would never be the same after losing her beloved father and seeing her son locked up for causing his death. She said, my life feels like it is ruined. I don't want to face the world. I have not just lost my father, the man who always care for me and love me. I have lost my son. The boy I have looked out for and tried to protect and love all his life. I have lost two people I have loved with all my heart. I'll never explain how this has changed my life. They say grief gets easier but they lied. I just can't see the light at the end of this dark tunnel. The court heard that, although Mr. Bathers and Sumner had argued previously, they generally had a loving relationship and Sumner was devastated by his grandson.